Are you scared now? That was scary. <laughs> this is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore the planet both above and below the surface. And see what it's really like to live a life at sea. <laughs> this is Expedition Drenched. in Byron Bay have been the highlight of our journey. But we have to keep exploring the different locations that the Golden Coast of Australia has to offer. It's sad to say goodbye to a happy place. And moreover, when you don't even expect what it is coming. Big swell, breaking waves, sandbars are the sailors' worst nightmare and you never have to take them for granted. Is this the end? spot we are up a river we're in an area called Tweed Heads and we came in um, at sunset last night and came over what's known as a bar crossing the notoriously very dangerous and we came in with huge surf lightning on the horizon a little bit of light not ideal raining hard all the things so scary last night we, we got picked up by this wave and Lulu just surfed a wave in and uh, yeah, at that point when you're surfing, it's like you're kind of at the mercy of the wave almost, you feel. And I saw that we were only a meter off from the bottom as we went through like the slump of the wave, but all was good. Um, but man, these bar crossings are no joke, you know. I'm glad that I at least was aware of that and did a little bit of research, but <laughs> the time has come to say goodbye to Lindsay once again. <laughs> You're on your way to Indo, yeah? Yeah, yeah, be a bit of a trip to get there, but yeah. should be there by next Friday, so. Gotta go get yourself a COVID test. Oh yeah, that fun yeah. stuff. <laughs> Did you have a good time? Yeah, man, always a good time with you guys. Right, Thanks man. for having me. If I don't catch up with you before, we'll see you up in Indo. Yeah, 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 cheers, man. <laughs> Let's go. strapped in, we're leaving at high tide, slack tide, and um, sneak out of here on our way to Gold Coast because we have so much to do up there. So yeah, hopefully it's a beautiful, beautiful day. The river here, I've been in many cities around the world and normally they're murky and brown and disgusting. And this is the cleanest, yeah, most crystal clear, beautiful river that I've ever seen in my life. But the problem with this is it's a little bit unnerving because the entire time we can see the bottom and we know that it is way too shallow it doesn't look very deep so 
I realize now there's a reason they make Rufus Brown. Cause you're my sweetheart. passing Gold Coast. We are about to go into the northern part of the Gold Coast and uh, make our way up the river system. And um, we are on our way to two things. Um, first off, we have um, like a meetup at a boat show. There's a big international boat show called Sanctuary Cove International Boat Show. It's been going on for 30, 40 years, something like that. And uh, we're pretty excited. We're going to actually be presenting at it and doing like um, a presentation on Queensland diving, uh, showing all the beautiful diving throughout Queensland that we've explored, as well as uh, just life on board and what we do. Super excited about that. Uh, because of COVID, we haven't been able to do anything like that. We've met with the occasional person here or there, but no large groups or gatherings until just now. So um, we also have a booth at this thing. So yeah, it's going to be fun. It is a beautiful morning, and um, today we are going to go on a scuba dive. As you can see, our dive gear is ready to go. There's a reason for that. Um, we are going diving today, today with Gold Coast uh, Dive Adventures. Pretty excited about it. They've got a brand new like gunboat, cop boat, and uh, they're excited to go out there and just flatten and burn it and do circles and donuts out there in the ocean and see what we can do. And uh, yeah, good dudes. Let's go check it out. Let's go. Hello, Expedition Drenched fans. My name is Seb. We've met before. Today, we have the pleasure of taking the crew from Sylphia to Cook Island and Nine Mile Reef. Nine Mile Reef is a fantastic reef uh, with big currents, uh, all drift diving, uh, which should be a lot of fun. But we're also going to Cook Island. Uh, an easy-going dive site which is very famous for its resident green sea turtle population as well as some of the best coral south of the Great Barrier Reef. And amongst the coral you might also find some fantastic macro life, we love macro, and in summer months you can even see manta rays and leopard sharks as well as guitar fish uh, down there. Okay, pretty excited to hear that and yeah, it's pretty impressive. So let's take no more time and let's go diving. Let's see what we have. to go This little new guest, it's called a frogfish. They are amongst my favorite creatures to look for underwater. They are so well camouflaged and adapted to their immediate surroundings that they are rarely detected. All frogfish are speculated to have a chameleon-like ability, with some even growing hair like appendage. They are equipped with a specialized lure called an esca. The elysium is the fishing rod appendage and the esca is the bait. Using its fishing rod and lure, the frogfish will dangle the bait in front of its head. What a extraordinary creature! Watching all these species makes me daydream. Watch the world spin it's just the beginning. I had a dream we were scuba divers. We floated through life like nothing could hurt us. We are all running from something I learned. I had a dream we saw thousands of fish. 
We sat at the bottom and looked at the world from underneath. We breathed, paused, and we felt our soul grew. We all are afraid of dying, I learned. I had a dream. The oceans were teeming with life. We opened our eyes, and there we were, looking down, only to remember that time we were scuba divers. We are all afraid to let go, I learned. It's all waiting for you It's all waiting for you It's just the beginning It's just the beginning I just finished the dive and I need to say how impressed I am. Uh, I didn't expect uh, uh, to see so many beautiful things, so many interesting things in this area. It's colder wa uh, water than in the tropics up north. And that's because, you know, everybody knows the Great Barrier Reef. It's a uh, very well known dive sites there and um, is the main a destination for diving in Australia, one of the biggest ones in the world. And that's why when you live behind the Great Barrier Reef, it's like, oh yeah, you know, we, we are living behind so many beautiful things and you don't expect, you know exactly what to expect. And that's why I'm pretty impressed what what we discovered here around. You you have manta rays, uh, uh, big manta rays in the season. You can see turtles, wabicons everywhere and leopard sharks and, it's crazy to dive also with the gray nurse sharks. How can you see so many of them and swim very close to them? Very majestic, big sharks. That's one of the most special dives I've, I've done lately. And yeah, we are, we are pretty tired at the moment. So we are gonna go to sleep now, to rest a little bit and let's see what we, we have tomorrow. But let's see some more scuba diving footage before we go to sleep. Today's the day to prepare the expo. Look at that. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. Look at what made God. Beautiful. Yeah, I saw the raffle. We will put the tickets here 
and people will get a chance to to win some crazy things, uh, shark skin, a uh, special sunscreen for people for ocean. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be cool. I I slept like a baby today. I have to admit, <laughs> I'm so happy. So nice. We always wake up really early, and it is always good to see one side with the sunrise and the green, and then all these posh houses in front of us. But I mean, I wouldn't mind living here. I have to say, it's it's just perfect. Like for me, the the, the noise and the the light is what it keeps me awake during the night. And today it was just a delight to be sleeping on the boat. It was just marvelous. And yeah, we have to get ready. We have to film some videos, some projects for the expo. And the boys are gonna start uh, mounting and preparing all the stand and all the decoration for our stand and the speech and everything. So it's gonna be a busy day, but we are ready for it. All right. Uh, I've been given the job of um, setting up the still. So we've found a place for it, which is gonna be right in the middle of this table. So here is one part of it. Now I'm gonna cut this hole so that that's gonna sit inside the table. Uh, so it can't move around while we're, while we're sailing and uh, it's also just going to look cool, visually cool from um, coming down the stairs. What do you think, Amy? It's been a long day, eh? Yeah, we have been working late, 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 almost there, and the boat expo starts tomorrow, so we just had to smash out so much stuff tonight, but I think as a team, we, we got almost there, so there'll be a little job in the morning, but then we're done. Yeah. And now we get to enjoy the boat expo. Yeah, yeah, let's get a, let's get a rest, yeah. because these panda eyes <laughs> won't cure themselves. Next time in Expedition Drenched. Today is the day. The boat show must go on. Such an incredible experience awaits us. Time for raffle. Time for prizes. But afterwards, there is no time to relax. Sylvia is getting out of the water again. Will we make her look even sexier? What's wrong with him, Amy? Let's get you deported. <laughs> yeah. Amy's jealous. Deported. Amy's jealous I'm that Amy's jealous that, it, that Lindsay gets to go to Indonesia. Yeah, I'm jealous. Yeah, you been to Indo? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. You're lame. Australia's cool. Australia's cool. Deport this girl. Deport her. Yeah. Where are we, Aichel? We are in Twin Pits. No, but where are we? There's an Aldi, there's a Google, there's <laughs> a Cole, somewhere like there. I don't know where we are. <laughs> We're waiting for Amy. She's doing some shopping or something. <laughs> what is this? Somebody's having a beauty session too late in the afternoon. <laughs> I've never shaved someone's beard before and it's incredibly satisfying. Sure. And I recommend everyone do it. Ready? Okay. You look amazing, mate. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, this is the right time to do it. 